Hey everybody, this is Jen with Genco Designs. Today we're going to do a multiple strokes effect in Affinity Designer. I don't know if you're familiar with Affinity Designer, but it's a great graphics design program. It may look a little complicated, but it's really very easy to use. We're going to stack up some text layers, create a nice little project, show you how you can get multiple strokes on your text, really get some great effects, and we're going to do it in Affinity Designer. I just love this program, so let's get started start a new document. We're going to go ahead and accept all the defaults today. We're going to um, give you a different color to look at the white, okay? Not a fan of that white. So if you're new to Affinity Designer, your basic outlay of what you're looking at here is your tools here on the left, okay? You have some toolbars and, and things uh, variables across the top. Whatever's concerning your document here, the variables for what tool you have uh, activated are going to be right here along the top of the of the window here. And then you have your layers, colors, and history, etc. over here on the right. Okay, so that's kind of a very basic view of what you're looking at. Affinity Designer is such a great program. I really encourage you to go get a, uh, a free trial. Try it out for yourself. I think you're really going to like it. I'm going to do a bunch more videos on it, so, um, you know, come back visit my site. But let's get started today with our project. So, today we're going to do text. Select your text tool by clicking on it. Come over, click into the document, and drag to get an approximate size for your text. We'll go home. Go ahead and Genco. Now what we're going to do is uh, highlight the text so that that's what we're affecting. Uh, select our font and our size. We're going to go with 245. Nice and big so you can see and get a real idea about what it looks like. We're going to come over here and choose a color for our uh, stroke. So pick the little donut by clicking on it and come over here to our color palette and select this here. Okay, and you notice that it changed the color of the donut. Okay, and back over here, we're gonna go to our stroke panel and make the width of that stroke bigger. I'm gonna go to about 12, it's nice and big. You can see it. Okay, we're gonna follow some good um, layer protocol. We're gonna come down, we've made a new layer, so we're gonna name it. This is our base stroke. Okay, and this one was our background. It's much easier to get in the habit of naming your layers when you're ready to move on to the next one. Um, much easier to find your stuff when you start getting really creative and then you want to go back and affect just one little thing or you want to move something without it affecting everything else. you got to be able to find that layer. So if you've kept up a good habit of naming them as you go along, it's much easier, much quicker, and it's it doesn't interrupt your flow, what you're thinking about and, and you know what you're trying to accomplish. So um, back over here, we're going to uh, re-highlight our text here. We want to... Take away the black. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to create a new layer. So we're going to go over here to our layers panel. This little uh, icon down here is add a layer. So we're in our new layer. Click our text tool. Drag, click and drag to approximate a size. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and grab that text so that what we do affects just that text. Okay, and make our size 245. Bring that down. Okay, now what we're going to adjust on it, first we're going to select our uh, stroke and we're going to make that stroke a little smaller. Let's go like, well, I think six and a half, seven is good. We're going to change the color of it to a nice royal blue. Okay, and we want to come down in here and we want to center that there like that. 
And why we have that affected, we want to go over, we forgot to do our effects, uh, we want to do a 3D effect, and we want to do the bevel effect. Okay, we're just going to accept the defaults here on these just to make this exercise really simple, easy to follow. Um, and while we're here, we're going to do that on our other layers, uh, our base stroke we forgot. So we'll do that. We'll do the 3D, and we'll do the bevel effect on that base, on that base layer too. So if you notice, you get the uh, highlights here at the top. Um, you get shadows, you get some highlights here at the edge, you get your shadows. So the bevels and the uh, 3D really make a nice quick effect for stacking. So as you can see here, it really makes it pop out. So uh, we're going to do another layer. So go back to the Layers panel. And we'll rename this one. And we're going to create a new panel, new layer. Go back to the text tool, click and drag. Grab your text. Check your size. Okay, I'm going to bring it down so it's down here in the vicinity. Um, we're going to change the color, so you already have that highlighted there. We're going to change color to this color here. We're going to adjust the stroke value down to you right about there. Okay, then we're going to center this right there. Okay, looks pretty good. Um, we have our highlight. We're going to do our effects over here, and we're going to click the bevel. Okay, back to the layers panel. We're going to name our layer. Oops, what happened to it? Here we go. All right. Okay, so we're going to do one more layer, new layer. This time we're going to go ahead and click the text tool. We're going to click and drag for our text. Um, we're going to grab our text. So you type your text, and then if you're going to do effects on it, you want to grab your text, okay? So now that we've got that, we'll go ahead and do the size. 245. This time, we're going to go ahead and bring back the black uh, fill in and without a stroke. Okay. I'm going to bring this down. Center that in there. Okay. We're going to do some effects. Do the same. We're going to do the 3D and the bevel. And then we'll name our layer. Okay, so now you can see how you can stack the layers up. We have a total of four layers and a background. We have our uh, 3D. You can see because we did the 3D, you can see how they can stack up and get that effect where they get the shadow and the highlight and, uh, and all that. It's really easy to create a multiple stroke 
uh, effect on Affinity Designer. You can, you know, go super big. You can be very creative with this. If you're creating a logo, you can, you know, go big. So it's all around your text and fills in. Um, there's just a lot of fun stuff you can do. But I just want to show you how easy it is to get your multiple stroke effect. So uh, thanks for stopping by. If you like what you see here, go ahead and click the buttons, like, share, and subscribe. It really does make a difference. Um, look forward to seeing you next time.